everybody. Welcome to our very first episode of Black and White Coffee Podcast. I'm black. And I am white. So this first episode is going to be you all getting to know who we are. First and foremost, my name is Kate and he's X. And we are married and live out in Tennessee, actually south of Tennessee. Kind of in the middle of nowhere. True, (laughs) up in the mountains. Um, And the reason why we are starting this podcast is just to share a little bit about our life because we feel we have quite a bit to share. Um, First and foremost, I am from Kenya and X is from South Dakota. We met 17 years, a little bit of, well, close to 17 years ago um, online. So we have the online dating experience. And then that transition to the physical life, and that was a whole other experience. So we kind of have a little bit to offer in that area. If I, may well, say. I think, yeah. I mean, we've we've done a lot to get to this point. It's true. You know, it we've totally. had a lot of different experiences, done a lot of different uh, different jobs, different careers, even to get to this point. So uh, maybe people will find some of it enjoyable or helpful or what have you, or if people just have questions. I mean, exactly. You know, not afraid of any questions. Exactly. We're truly a really chill, laid back couple. Like I said, we live out in Tennessee. We decided to just get take away a, from the city. Yeah, get away from the city and um, try and start a homestead. So we bought a home and uh, we live on, well, six, six acres. acres yeah, six acres ish. ish. And we're enjoying it. And it's truly been a journey for us to get to this point. And it's also been a lot of learning, a lot of laughter. And the typical ups and downs uh, that come absolutely. with life. Absolutely, yes. You know, and trying to move forward. Mm-hmm. You know, and but the we challenges. Think yeah, and there's always challenges, you know. Mm-hmm. And I think we've gotten to this point because we've maintained positivity, mm-hmm. faith, whatever yes. you want to call it. Mm-hmm. And we kept looking forward and didn't dwell on, because you're always going to have setbacks. You can't, mm-hmm. I mean, who doesn't have setbacks? Mm-hmm. Sometimes they're heavy. Mm-hmm. But you keep moving forward. You know, Mm -hmm. and that's what you focus on. Exactly. And navigating through all those changes from marriage to business, to our finances, to having a dog, to now owning, (laughs) you know, a home and and learning a whole new life. Everything that's going on in the world and the uncertainty. And we feel that at least we can, we have some authority to contribute to those conversations because we have um, we have packed a lot. We have gone through a lot in the last 11 years. And we, not actually 11 years, but 17 years. And mm. um, we hope you stick around to share with us, you know, our journey down memory lane. And, you know, laugh with us, cry with us. There are going to be some not very pleasant conversations. But it's all about growth and sharing and healing and growing from there and just pushing yourself to the next limit because for us at this point we've we've pushed ourselves through so many limits and this is definitely one of the this is this is now like our biggest limit actually putting ourselves out there being vulnerable talking about who we are being scrutinized and all that and um, it's going to be a good, it's going to be an interesting journey in all. And I'm looking forward to sharing it with you all. And anyway, you know, feel free to post what you think about our podcast, what you think about what we're sharing. Do you have any questions for us? When it comes to careers, maybe you, do you want to share what you've done? Maybe people have questions. Yeah, well, I think we both, both have done a lot sure. of different things to mm-hmm. get this point. Uh, and that's part of the that's part of the point, is that you can't pigeonhole yourself. You can't you can't think uh, this is this is all I am or this is all I can do because you never know. Uh, but for me, I've had well, what people have said to me anyway is that I've had a lot of careers because I didn't make I didn't make lateral moves. If I have switched jobs, I've gone from being I was a massage therapist for quite a while as a personal trainer. Uh, worked with chiropractors, and then I worked with oh, worked with uh, investors, mm-hmm. real estate investors. I forgot about that mm-hmm. part. Worked with real estate investors, and then from there I went to doing like a site management job where I was working in a place where they worked with uh, homeless and runaway kids to being a counselor for some of those kids groups as well. 
to being an armed guard. Oh, and a pizza delivery person for a little bit in between there, right? <laughs> yes! It's an awesome job, though. I mean, I'm telling you, delivering pizza is not, not bad. I don't, no, one, no one was ever upset to see me. It was awesome. But, um, yeah, and then from, from there to... Basically. Our own uh, back to our own business yeah. working together, which yeah. we've doing, which we've done now for seven years. It seven years. Yeah. So yeah. that means we've been together almost twenty four seven. Yeah. For seven years. Yeah. In a row. Yeah. And so that might be something people have some questions about mm-hmm. or wondering about if you mm-hmm. decide to work together with your spouse. Uh, it's definitely. I know I was excited when I knew that that we could do that. Yeah. You know. Yep. And uh, even when we found a job together mm-hmm. doing that. So there's a whole lot of uh, lot of things. Cause to some people, even people that I know very well, will look at me and say, you you work with your wife? <laughs> ah, man, I am not wired like that. <laughs> so that's, that's fine. But yeah. um, for us, it worked. And yeah. people may have questions about that because it is a very... It's very, it's very interesting. It is it's interesting, interesting and it's challenging. And yeah. we're going to share the good, the bad, and the in-between. And in fact, that whole experience is what helped us purchase our home. Very true. Um, and we're going to absolutely share. If you have any questions about it, feel free to post them in the comment section. Um, we're going to share what our journey has been. And so, you know, yes, this is Black and White Coffee Podcast, but it will be intertwined with a blog that we have. It's called WorkingCouplesLife.com. And that... Just talks about what our journey has been as couples who work together. It's a lot to unpack. It pushes you as a unit, as one. That's when you know you. It makes you grow together, and and it brings you together so much to a point where your loyalty to each other will be tested. People will try and find every little thing to to break you, but once you overcome that without any issues or a scandal and you keep on just moving forward let me tell you there is I don't think there is any bigger test than that but that is that is just my opinion but like I said we'll share um a little bit about that that journey Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier but we do have uh, other than the two of us we do have a pit bull her name is Shuja a super cool dog very loving I don't know if you had her whining earlier. Right now she is deep in sleep, but she doesn't. She thinks the world revolves around her. But um, I will be posting, like I said, a lot of her, times it does. It does. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> I'll be posting her um, Instagram page in the description. If you've stuck with us until this point, thank you so much. Please feel free to subscribe. Send us an email. Post in the comment section. Do you have a question? Do you have a comment? Do you have feedback? Do we want to tell them why we're calling this black and white coffee? Oh, did, didn't we touch on that? We didn't talk about it. Oh, snap. So, 2018, X and I traveled to Kenya. And we stayed at a hotel in South Bay called Laibon. And in the morning when we went down to have breakfast, the waitress came and asked us, well... <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, So, yeah, so obviously I'm the only... Well... Yeah, I was the only white person. At that point. Yeah, at that point in Laiban. So the waitress comes up, she's taking our order, and she asks, she just says, you want coffee? Well, yes, I would like some coffee. Black or white? <laughs> well, and, you know, <laughs> it took me off, caught me off guard a little bit. I mean, I, after a couple of seconds, I think I knew what she was talking about. But that first little part, <laughs> when you're the only white guy in a in a hotel, you're like, what am I supposed to order? <laughs> can I well, can I order the black coffee? Would that be okay? But like I said, it was just this little quick, quick little few seconds of thought that hit me. Like, well, that's a weird. I've never had had that question put yeah. to me like that when you're ordering coffee. And right. so it had that had that quick little what? Yep. What's she asking me? And so when I brought it up to to Kate sometime later, she just thought it was like I don't know. She thought it was a funny. <laughs> A funny story. Yeah, because I've never <laughs> thought about it. Like to me, it was so it was so natural. And so f- for him to actually point that out, it really dawned on me. Like, oh wow! When it came up as a possible name for a podcast, yeah. we thought it worked really well because I tend to have black coffee. She tends to have Wh- white, white coffee. coffee. <laughs> She's black. <laughs> I'm white. 
And it just... I, Are you really white? Yeah, evidently. Oh, my. Yeah. I didn't notice that. <laughs> We've talked about that before. It's true. Sometimes you, you realize, oh, that's right, my wife's... Somewhat different than me. <laughs> Normally, you don't even, it's not a thing. Like, it's not in, the, in your head. And you're like, oh, yeah, that's right. Cool. All right. Anyway, thank you so much. And uh, we hope to see you all or hear from you all in the next episode. Cheers. Cheers.